Hello all. Uh, welcome to Data Science with Julia. So today, just a second, I need to ensure it's recording properly. Okay. So today we are going to look at guessing a number with genetic algorithms. So let me just try to explain to you what it is so that like uh, so that like uh, you people know like uh, at least the concept like uh, even if you're unable to grasp uh, what I'm saying like maybe if you know the concept you can grasp it later okay so so okay let's imagine like this is a number line right so so this is a number line right I don't know why there are two lines over here so so uh and say like you're guessing a number uh, which is right over here you're guessing a number oh not this one okay right you just delete it how can i represent numbers so, yeah i'll represent with a circle right small circles right so yeah now uh, let me just put it in nice red or something like that okay yeah so this is a number you have just guessed okay so uh, so this is the number line and you have just guessed the number and placed okay so place it over here now what you do is you just uh, generate bunch of random numbers right so you just uh, let me just generate just two random numbers why uh, okay uh, okay just let me uh generate like two random numbers okay like i'll just put it in green another one i'll just put it in blue or something like that okay yeah these two random it could be anywhere it could be anywhere right okay, so that's the thing and now uh this is the target number right okay the red is the target number right so you're just looking at the distance from this red so this blue is closer to red and this green is farther away okay so what you do is okay uh just for the sake of understanding let us put green so far away right okay so that's the thing and the green is farther away so i think the blue is much more uh, uh what to say a better choice than green so that's called as the error mis measurement okay right or you can also call it as cost so what i do is i just delete this green i don't need it right now i just make slight modifications to blue so if i make slight modifications to blue actually many modifications like one might land over here uh, okay like now yeah this green lands over here and then i just make another modification okay this one lands over here just for argument's sake let's have two and let's assume that okay the two of them land on either sides okay so that's how it is right so and yeah i just put this as yellow and all those stuff okay yeah now uh okay like once again measure these distances like yeah of course i have taken out the blue uh we have just made this is what like uh genetics like um the children of blue that is the yellow and green are slightly different from blue okay so just like the children of humans are slightly different from their parents or something like that or any organism right so they just mutate okay so otherwise everything will be clone and everything will be same okay so they just mutate and this is the slight difference and now if you see this is the target green is far more uh near to this uh, uh target red dot compared to this yellow so let's remove this yellow right now let's once again mutate this green okay so just for argument's sake or the sake of explanation let's assume that if you mutate green like they are once again like two more numbers on the number line like this okay one i will just put as light green or something what colors are there okay one i'll just put as orange another one i'll just put as what is this color uh, i don't know the names of many colors okay okay another one i'll just put it as yellow okay so yeah now this generation this new generation is there so the old generation is gone and now like if you see this yellow is 
what to say near to this red and similarly so this orange is far so similarly yeah you once again mutate and so on yeah now i just don't want to change colors and take time and all those stuff okay so now the rightmost yellow is over here and so okay now when one once you mutate that we take the rightmost yellow because that's more near and so on and so forth and finally what happens is this almost comes over here right so so yeah so that's how it is so and uh, so you almost kind of reached your target okay so that's how it is and this is how genetic algorithms work okay so uh you just have some target and there is some changes there is some initial value and some changes and whichever is near to the target is taken into account right so that's how it works right so yeah we are going to look look at it in code okay so yeah i have got jupyter notebook open yeah that is like jupyter lab so lab contains many notebooks so that's how it is so yeah let me just take my blog and put it over here and yeah this blog link yeah i'll put it in the videos so don't worry so you can find it in the description if you're watching it on youtube right so yeah okay so uh, let's have a target number as for true we are just guessing a number so then we'll just guess parameters of a line and all in another video right okay so that's the thing and we'll just have a error function that's delta so i hope you know to type delta so delta is like you just put d e l t a and put tab right so that's how it is so you have this function delta and then you just have value number all it just does it just computes error number minus value that's it right okay now okay yeah just testing delta like 12 and 42 is like what 30 right number minus value right okay so that's the thing okay so that's how it is now uh okay yeah we generate like random 500 numbers like that's between 0 0.5 and plus 0.5 so this rand generates between 0 and 1 so we minus 0 0.5 because like we want somewhere between minus 0 0.5 and plus 0 0.5 okay in blog i am just explaining a lot but over here i just want to keep it concise okay so that's the thing okay we create a function called top survivors okay so let me just explain it right okay so uh okay yeah let me explain it like i've put in my blog right so the top survivors is nothing but whichever numbers are near the target get selected okay so that's the thing so you just have the top survivors okay with no arguments and nothing and all then we just put a thing called values okay so these are, values are nothing but numbers okay like you have 42 means the values could be like 1 7 12 and something and 57 or something like that and so which is near to 42 12 is like 30 steps away from 42 57 is what like uh, 15 steps away from 42 so this top service will select 57 or something like that okay so from bunch of values it will select few values okay that's near the target right so that's how it is yeah and you also need to have the target number right okay rather than uh, just the values like you need to compare with something right and to compare it you you also need the error like which is more near okay so that's the thing right let's say like you have like thousand values okay you can't keep selecting everything you just give a top percent like like i want top 10 percent that needs to be selected right so that's the thing right so that is the top percent right you are just giving it over here right so that's the thing and okay so uh okay now let me just put the entire function and explain it so that like okay
okay now you have this okay now let me explain this errors and values okay you know this is the error count okay so this is the error count delta of value and number right so this sorry this is the error you are computing from this function right and we are taking absolute look we uh if what to say uh okay like uh 42 minus 100 the value should not go the error should not go minus if the error goes minus then it means like you're very accurate okay so you need to take the absolute value okay so that's the thing so the error means like if on the right side also if the number goes very high compared to 42 it should be still be positive even on the left side if it goes uh, very high it should still be positive okay so that's why we are taking the absolute value and yeah what we are just doing is like we are just having a tuple over here we are taking the absolute error over here right and we are also putting the value that is for each each and every value in this value so you have this values over here you have this value over here for each and every value we are putting the error over here right and value over here and this entire thing is a tuple okay so that's how it is now what we do is we just sort okay from uh, ascending errors like if the error is very minimal or zero that will be the first okay if the error is uh, what to say very high that will be the last okay now what we are just doing is the n number we are just calculating let's say like they are thousand values okay so the length of values will be thousand and top percent will be 10 okay thousand into 10 by 100 what is that thousand by 10 so we will have 100 so that is the top 10 percent okay top 10 percent of this one like uh okay thousand right okay that is actually the 10 percent of thousand okay and we will since we want to take the top 10 percent and we have it sorted we will take from the first one to the end number over here which we have calculated so this will just return the top survivors others it will just show blindly okay now we need a function to mutate this thing okay okay so uh okay let's say like we are having a value like 10 or something like that we, that is initial value we want to change it okay we want to change it okay so like so i just give mutate okay and i just give 10 so it will give 10 mutations of 10 right so that's how it is yeah 9.7 10.2 something like that right very slight mutations i think so what we're just doing is like uh okay for okay for number of mutations what we're just doing is like we're just taking a number between 0 and 1 this ran minus 0 0.5 is sorry we are taking a number between minus 0 0.5 to plus 0 0.5 right and we are adding it to this value so we have 10 anything could be added i think over here like minus 0 0.2 something got subtracted over here i think 0 0.384 got added or 0 0.385 got added or something like that so it mutates and gives it as a vector or array or whatever it is like a call it vector that's i think a better thing okay so that's how it is right so okay right but now we want a thing called mutate list because we have values lot of values okay and this top person will be selected okay the top person will be selected uh, that will be like, like say like 100 values or something like that and we need to mutate all those things and give another list okay so that's what this mutate list is okay right so like we use mutate in this okay and uh, so what we are just doing is like we are having an array called output empty array <coughs> okay and we mutate each and every element uh what to say for the element in this list so we are passing lot of values in this list and for each and everything we just mutate it and concatenate it to this array this vcat is nothing but concatenation like it's like vertical concatenation that means this 10 elements is there right for first for second concatenation another 10 elements will be added below it okay so that's how it is 
and finally we are that is like we are doing it to uh, output okay and we are assigning it to output itself right uh, i don't know whether there is a function called vcat bank like that concatenates and assign it to output uh, it does all these things so we can write something like this one vcat bank i'm not sure uh, but uh, yeah let me just try it and see right? Yeah. So this I am just giving and then mutate list. Mutate list. Okay, I'm just giving 10 and 20. So you will get like uh some mutations of 10 and then followed by some mutations of 20. Okay. No, this we can this is not there. Okay, so I need to change this. Okay, yeah, fine. So let me just push shift enter so that like it gets registered and yeah. So mutations of 10 are here, right? And oh, okay, sorry, I should have given like so. Okay, so mutations of 10 are here, right? And okay, till this one, okay, and these are all mutations of 20. So you I hope you get how it works or something like that, right? Okay, so that's how it is. So what we are doing here is like, okay, now we get initial 500 values. Okay, this is the creation phase, I would say. Okay, so initial 500 values we have, right? So lot of values, okay, right? Now, we need to uh, make the survivors as initial values and we will do this thing for 500 generations like since this is genetic algorithms we will have like we will do it for 500 generations and uh, we will get top survivor sample okay so we will get top survivor sample right as a empty array right so okay right okay right okay so for 500 generations we are going to mutate and see whether it reaches 42 okay so now okay so for this generations okay like uh now we need to do it for 500 generations right so i've just put a loop but that is for 1 to 500 right okay right Okay, so you have this survivors. So now I just mutate the survivors, right? I just mutate the survivors, right? So if I mutate, okay, like mutate list means it will be like kind of 10. So it will give 5000 survivors, okay? So 5000 survivors over here. Now errors and values of top survivors, okay? So what I'm just doing is, I have number, right? I have number and I have survivors, right? And uh, I'm just taking the top survivors, right? So this will give you the 10% of survivors. That very, that's very much near this number, right? Okay, right? And what I'm just doing is like, Okay, so this is errors and values. This gives errors and values. So I just want only values now. So what I'm just doing is I'm just taking only the values out. Okay. So you just have this value, right? And you just have error value in errors of errors and values. So errors and values is nothing but error and value. Okay, combined into one. Okay, the first into a tuple. Error will be the first one, value will be the second one right so what i'm just doing is just taking the value out so we just want only the values that to the top values okay so that's the thing so over here we get the top errors and values but now i just want only values in survivors right okay right so now what i'm just doing is like yeah this is like this is just for plotting i'm just doing so you have this array right empty array top survivor sample right so over there i am just pushing like first 10 values of survivors so that's the thing i think this is just to plot okay right 
putting this thing like this like where i want to print the generations like uh, okay like this okay okay where i just want to print the generations of top survivors okay right so the first generation i want to print and uh, every 10th generation i want to print okay so these are all just for visualization right okay i think the code is runnable even right now okay but yeah i think i need to now do another mutation okay right now uh, all i just need to do is no right okay 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 yeah right so i think the code is runnable right so let me just run it and show you so over here the top survivor is like 1.478 okay okay so this is far away from 42 so now over here it's 5.6 okay so this is far near to 42 compared to this 1.47 right in the next generation it is 10 point whatever it is then slowly it just reaches till 41 42 and it kind kind of look it just goes near this 42 like goes near goes far goes near goes far goes near goes far okay so now it's 41.999 very near and it's 42 point so yeah so it just kind of vibrates around 42 so that's how it's happening okay so this is the thing so all we uh, now you just kind of i hope you got it okay so or please put it in the comments i'll put some clarification videos or something like that in the future so so yeah that's how it just goes right it just kind of vibrates okay and yeah we are just trying to plot it okay so let me just put the plot full plot and just show you right okay right this is plotting range right right and okay using plots progress plot okay right so first i'm just plotting a line okay so i just yeah plot sometimes takes time to uh what to say activate right so first i'm just plotting just 42 over here right okay now what i'm just doing is like yeah so what i'm just doing is for for all these generations okay and for every 10th generation i'm just plotting the top survivor okay so top survivor sample okay right so that's how i'm just doing yeah let me just put the code and explain right okay so what i'm just doing is i'm just taking the first top survivor and then i'm just giving like label gen generation and all those stuff and i just want to put scatter so the line will be here the top survivor you can see it trying to reach that line okay so that's how it is so if you look like okay yeah so this is kind of generation one generation 10 generation 20 and so on and so forth i think like round about like what to say in 100 generations or something it takes 100 generations to reach this 42 or something like that right and it kinds of stays around like 42 right so that's how it is right it it might not be accurate so that's that's the kind of ai so this is uh, i'm just putting a fine grain plot over here right and so that you people can see like what it is right so just plot 42 right and yeah so over here i'm just plotting like uh, i i'm just plotting from generations 90 to 110 oh sorry 
Okay, right. Uh, sorry. Okay, this one. Yeah, so this is the 90 to 110. So in the 90th generation, you can see all those values, okay? I think the top server will be this one, like this one, like that's near to 42. So, and in generation 95, I think this thing will be the top server, okay? And in generation 100, I think this one, like that's very, very near to 42, okay? And in generation 105, it once again diverges, and once again in generation 110, it once again slightly converges. So, this is what like genetics right like it also happens in almost all species slightly diverges a bird means okay a bigger beak smaller beak a little bit flying faster a little bit flying slower and then uh, what to say this universe chooses like which should survive or which should not survive okay unfortunately the universe is choosing humans in this corona pandemic so yeah bad but what to do like uh that's our fate right so yeah so this i'm just or what to say yeah of course yeah sorry both are almost same so i think i just reduce uh margin somewhere else. Okay. so yeah that's how it is so so yeah actually this should be the output of this fine grain plot but i did some mistake right so and this should be like the magnified view where you're just reducing the x limits from 85 to 125 so that's how it is so i've also put some hindu mythology over here and all those stuff so that like people could understand and all those things like uh, if you are kind of spiritual person you might be able to understand and all those stuff so uh that's the thing so yeah i hope you kind of understood this genetic algorithm algorithm in the future we'll be trying to fit a line to uh, uh to what to say some uh, a scattered plot so that is also actually i've worked on it but i need to write a blog and put a video and since the blogs have run out i think I, you'll have only like one or two videos per week rather than multiple videos per day which you had before so yeah that's the thing that's going to happen so yeah please bear please be patient but yeah i'm very determined to learn data science with julia from scratch and all those things and i hope yeah you also learn with me Thanks for watching, uh, but let's see another video.